Apple's calendar app may seem basic, but it's packed with powerful features. Whether you're managing personal events, family events, or work events, these tips will help you stay organized and maximize your productivity in a very simple interface that works across Apple's ecosystem. In this video, I'll show you how to integrate reminders for a complete schedule that maximizes your time, how to quickly access your calendar with a widget, all about hands-free access with Siri, how to set up repeated events, how to add invitees and attachments. Stay tuned to the end where I'll have a bonus tip for you. Don't forget to click the like button below and subscribe to Techie Tutor so you'll know when new videos come out. So let's get started. The Apple Calendar app can be found easily by just looking for this icon, which will change every day depending on the date. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at what your screen looks like. I have it set on yearly view so I can easily go through and find a specific month. At the top, you'll see a magnifier where you can search for events and a plus to add an event. At the very bottom, you see today, calendars, and inbox. Right now, I'm gonna go to today and just show you what that looks like. So right now, it says the month on the top. It has the year on the left, and then it has this icon here, which will allow you to change how you view in that monthly view. And again, we still have the magnifier to search for anything and the plus to add an event. So let's see what happens when we use this. We pressed here, we'll have uh, four options for how you can view your calendar. Right now I have it in stacked, which means right here, if you look at the 23rd, you see two different colors. That means I have two events from two different calendars. Here I have three. And you can see that when it's stacked, you can see easily see multiple events per day. If I do compact, it's going to take a lot less space and I can go through that way. You can also go to details where it'll tell you uh, what's in each day and you can see it's pretty big. You can use a pinching gesture by opening and closing and the screen will change that way. Um, so that's, that's very useful and new. Uh, and then you can have list view, which is what I usually use, uh, where you have a list at the bottom. At the top, you have the month. So wherever it's highlighted, right now it's the 23rd. It shows me at the bottom a list of what's happening. Right now, as I started, I was in the year view and I just clicked on the month. So here I am in the month view and I want to show you another way to navigate your events in calendar. Press up here on the icon and press stacked press the item and you'll see you have a completely different view where up top you see Sunday to Sunday and you have the calendar dates and then you have the whole daily schedule here. What you can do now from this screen is you can easily go to different dates just by pressing the top or you can scroll by the week just by sliding. So I'm going to show you, you would slide from right to left. You can slide from left to right. You can just choose a date and that's how you can easily navigate. How you can be even more productive by having multiple calendars. So I'm gonna click on calendars and you can see I have many iCloud account calendars. I also have my reminders incorporated or integrated with calendar, which means when I have a reminder in my reminders app, there's a whole video I have made up reminders. I use reminders all the time. And the fact that it is integrated with calendar really helps me day to day. I can also choose to have birthdays that's integrated through contacts, which is another Apple app. So if you have a contact and you've in included their birthday and you select birthdays, their birthday will show up in your calendar. So it's easy to add a calendar. Go to the bottom of your screen, press add calendar, and you can add a calendar or family calendar, which means people in iCloud can share it. Um, you can add a subscription calendar by having the actual URL address that you paste in or a holiday calendar. We're going to add a calendar, press add calendar at the bottom, press add calendar again. I need to give this calendar a, a name. So it's the little league schedule. I'm going to share this with somebody uh, by pressing add person. I'll share it with my iCloud family and add, choose a color. You can choose any color for your uh, calendar. You can choose to have 
alerts here and you can choose if people can edit it or not. If you just want them to view the calendar, then you don't allow editing. And you can add other people just by pressing uh, add person. Once you're done, you press done. And then I have this little league calendar. Go ahead and add an event. I'm gonna press plus game one. And I'm going to choose a date. It's uh, Saturday the 5th, one o'clock. And I scroll down to the calendar. It's very important when you're adding an event, you wanna add it to the calendar that uh, that it makes sense to add to. So you're gonna press that and go down to Little League Schedule, and then this event will be added. I can also, at this point, um, very important, you wanna set the time up. So I set the date, I set the time right here. If it's all day, you can select a day, all day right here. And if there's travel time, maybe you have to travel somewhere for it, you can put the travel time in or else if you put the address in over here, location, if you add a location, it will also integrate with Apple Maps and the travel time will be figured out automatically. I want to invite people. I can press invitees and invite, maybe I want to add Apple. So I'm going to invite Apple and then they'll be invited and they get to say whether they want to come or not. Uh, and then I can have an alert. I want to know the day before that I have to go to that game. And the second alert, I want an hour before. So I'm setting two alerts. I can also add notes. If I scroll down to the very bottom, I can go to notes and add anything that is important. Don't forget snack, press add. And now I have, if we go back to April 5th, there we have game one. And it's right in my calendar and I can use the pinching gesture to make it bigger or smaller. I can click on it and then I can see the whole thing in my calendar. So that's how you will add an event. Uh, Hands-free means you're gonna use uh, the name Siri and you're going to tell it to do something. Hey Siri, add game two to my little league calendar, April 12th at one o'clock. Okay, so now I have this and now I have game two on April 12th. If I wanna add notes, again, I would press edit, go down to notes, and I could go ahead and press don't forget snack. To search an event in your calendar can be complicated, especially if you've been using Apple Calendar for many years. What you're going to do is click on the magnifying glass, type in a keyword, and then you'll see them come right up. So it says April 5th and April 12th, game one, game two. Out. Now, those of you used to using hashtags in Apple Notes and Apple Reminders, you can use the same idea in Apple Calendar, only you don't need the hashtag symbol. So when I just looked for game, maybe in Notes, I had hashtag game. So Apple Calendar is very good at finding things that way. If you want to know the last time you went to the dentist and you wrote the dentist, you wrote the word dentist in the calendar event, just put dentist in and it will find all your dentist appointments. Uh, this can be helpful. Or if you want to know when your meeting was with Mr. Magoo, you put in Mr. Magoo and all of those events with Mr. Magoo will come up. So I talked about how to create an event hands-free with Siri. I don't like to say S-I-R-I, I just use the action button. If you have a newer phone, you can do this. So this is how it works. Add game three to my Little League calendar, April 19th at one o'clock. Event has been added, there we go. And I have my calendar. Now when I'm looking at the month of April, you see I have three yellow lines. That's my Little League calendar and I can easily tell there's a game, the 5th, the 12th, and the 19th. I can also use the pinching gesture to open it up, and I have a little more information that way. You can make it really small or slowly get it bigger. Let's say you have an event and you need to cancel it. Go to the 19th. I'm in game three. I need to cancel that because we'll be away. I'm going to click on it, and at the very bottom, you're going to see delete event, and then you can go back, and I'm going to do the same thing for the 12th. I'm gonna delete the event. And now 
let's go to the fifth. So I have one game set. Let's go back into that game and edit this. Since I have a ca uh, game every Saturday at one o'clock, I'm going to just go to repeat, which is right here. Right now it says never. So clicking on that, I'm gonna say every week and it'll be repeated. I'll press done, save for future events, and now go back to the calendar and you see I have the 5th, 12th, 19th, and it goes every week. Sometimes I like to go see a concert, and I'm sure many of you do too. So here is how you're going to add an attachment. Uh, let's say I'm going somewhere on the 6th. I want to add an event. I want to go find the attachment. I press Add Attachment. Here's a museum admission. This is uh, my calendar and it's going to be at 10 a.m. and museum, an end time in mind, 3 p.m. And now you see on the bottom right here, there's PDF museum admission. Because I've saved it as a, a PDF in Apple Files, I could easily attach it to my calendar event. And this is the beauty of the Apple ecosystem, using Apple Notes, Apple Reminders, Apple Calendar, Apple Files, even Apple Mail, it all gets integrated. So I've added it. Now there's an event on April 6th. I can go back to the month and you can see on April 6th, there's a green dot. That means I have a personal event. And when I press it, I can easily see there's a little paper clip here. And that means there's an attachment. When I click on it, I can scroll all the way down and there's my museum admission. And if I click on that, it's gonna open up my admission. Again, if you wanna delete an event, it's easy. Just go to your event, go all the way to the bottom and press delete event. Apple Clock is also part of the Apple ecosystem. I use Apple Clock all the time. I have lots of reminders in Apple Clock. Now, when you want um, an event in your calendar to remind you with an alert, there's a second step you have to do. In order to hear your alert for an event that you create in calendar, you wanna make sure that you choose a sound that will work. To do that, you have to go to settings, go to notifications and scroll down to calendar. You want to make sure notifications is on. You want it to be immediate so that when an event is happening, you find out right away and you want to choose a sound. So you're going to go to sound and right now I have none. Uh, you can go to classic and find something that makes a lot of noise that you're going to hear. Uh, update is good. And then when you're done, press sounds. And now if I want my alert, that one hour alert is going to notify me with a sound. I told you there'd be a bonus tip at the end. So here it is. I use Apple reminders right here. And when I have a reminder that has a date like this, 2-21-25 right here, you will see that it also appears on my calendar right here. That's from my reminders. In order for you to see your reminders in calendar, you have to make sure you have selected the right thing in calendar setup. So let me show you how to do that. We're gonna press calendar at the bottom of the screen and then go to the bottom where it says scheduled reminders. Make sure you tap scheduled reminders and that way any reminders that you have saved that have a date will also appear in your calendar. And there you have the fridge. And that's my scheduled reminder. I can click on it and it actually opens it up in the calendar or I can press show in reminders and it will go to reminders. I wanna quickly show you uh, how you can access your calendar easily from your home screen. What you're seeing here is called a widget. I'm gonna take it away and I'm going to show you how to add one to your home screen. Here's my home screen. Use your finger to tap and hold and you'll see the edit screen come up. Press edit, press add widget, go in the search bar and write calendar, choose calendar, and you'll have, uh, in this case, six different choices you can scroll through. Choose the one you want, press add widget, and you'll see it right on your home screen. 
You can use the handle to change the size of it. You can move it around once you have it where you want it. Press done. And now when you press on that, it's going to go right into calendar. Don't forget to leave a comment below to let me know what video you would find useful or if there's a way that you use calendar that I haven't mentioned.